Good afternoon, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. I will be sharing with you how sometimes healthy herbal teas and supplements can cause injury to your liver. An all-natural herbal product might sound like it's good for your health, but some common ones like green tea extract and cum free tea can cause injury to your liver if overused. And whether your liver is doing well or you have a disease like fatty liver, you'll want to keep your liver in the best shape possible. Your liver is your body's largest solid organ. On average, it weighs between 3 to 5 pounds in adulthood and is roughly the size of a football. This organ is vital to the body's metabolic functions and immune system. Without a functioning liver, a person can't survive. There are many herbs that help detoxify the liver. There is a link in the description for a video that I shared on this topic. However, there are some herbs that should not be used in large quantities. For instance, a high dose of green tea extract can lead to liver injury in certain people. The active ingredient in green tea is a class of compounds called catechins. They can deplete some of the protective molecules in cells, such as glutathione, that are there to protect us from injury. If you love green tea, rest assured, drinking up to 10 cups a day is safe. According to gastroenterologists, it's the high doses of green tea extract, usually found in weight loss supplements, that cause damage. Certain herbs used in traditional Chinese medicine have also been found to pose some risks. Researchers have identified 28 traditional Chinese medicine herbs and herbal mixtures that have been reported to cause liver toxicity, according to a 2015 article. Comfrey, which was sold as a tea and powder, contains several alkaloids that may cause liver injury. It is no longer sold in the U.S., except for external use, such as in creams and ointments. Kava kava is made from the roots of the plant. It is known to treat anxiety and insomnia. It's been documented to have caused liver damage in as many as 100 people. However, its use has been restricted in Germany, Switzerland, France, Canada, and Britain. Skullcap, which was traditionally used by Native Americans to treat anxiety, stress, and insomnia. Skullcap is often used in products containing multiple herbs, so it's not entirely clear if it should be blamed. But it's something to keep an eye on. Chaparral, an extract of a shrub known as creosote bush is used by people believing it can benefit conditions ranging from skin rashes to cancer. The suspected liver damaging compound is one called NDGA. It's possible that people with liver injury from the herb are having a type of allergic or immune reaction to it. Therefore, if you already have an underlying liver condition, it is recommended to not use any of these herbs. If you do not, please use them sparingly and with caution. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.